The four operations of mathematics are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Today, we're going to focus on multiplication. Multiplication is the process of multiplying something by something else. For example, multiplying 2 by 6 is 12. It is most often represented by the symbol x, meaning times. As a mathematical operation, multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition. Let's look at how many spots the ladybug has. There are two groups of two. We can also write two times two. Let's take a look at how many groups of apples are on the tree. There are five groups of three. We can write this as five times three. Your turn. How would you write it? Five times four is the same as adding four together five times, which is 20. The resulting number of a multiplication operation is referred to as a product. Multiplication strategies. Here are a few other strategies to help you master multiplication. An array. Rows and columns with an equal amount in each. Equal groups. Use the same number of ones in each group. Number line. Starting from zero, hop five at a time. Where do you land? Multiplication properties are rules that are used while multiplying numbers. Let's take a look. Commutative. The order of multiplication between two numbers does not matter. Numbers can be multiplied together and the answer is always the same, regardless of the order in which the numbers are multiplied. Associative. The order of multiplication between three numbers does not matter. Groups of factors can be multiplied together and the answer will stay the same, even if you change the grouping of factors. Distributive. You can break a large number into smaller pieces in order to make it easier to multiply. When a number is multiplied by the sum of two numbers, the answer is the same as multiplying each number in the sum by the original number and then adding the products together. Identity. Multiplying a number by one has no impact on the number. Zero. Multiplying a number by zero is always equal to zero. Let's put our knowledge to the test. If Adam's rabbit eats five carrots a day for three days in a row, then how many carrots has his rabbit eaten? Adam's rabbit has eaten 15 carrots. To work this out, you could use repeated addition, which is five plus five plus five, which equals 15, which of course is the same as five times three. Precious bought six packs of gum. Each pack contained eight sticks of gum. How many sticks of gum does she have? Six times eight equals 48. So, Precious 
has 48 sticks of gum. A nickel is worth five cents. How much change will you have if you have seven nickels? You will have 35 cents. Becky earns $3 a day for doing the dishes. If she does the dishes eight days in a row, how much money will she earn? Becky will earn $24. Multiplication times tables. It's also important to make sure you have a solid grasp on the times tables, as this will help you to recognize and solve problems involving multiplication. Knowing your times tables is a valuable skill and can enhance your math fluency when more complicated concepts arise. For more practice, check out this Twinkle resource. We have lots of fun and engaging resources designed to test your multiplication fluency. Have a look at our Times Tables Activity Pack, Space Explorer's Interactive Game, and our Emoji Multiplication Mosaic Activities too. For more information and resources related to multiplication, head to twinkle.com.